Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Counter-Strike Overwatch. It's been a while. It's been a month, it says, on my YouTube. I've been I'm doing a lot this past month. A lot of stuff has been going on, so I apologize for that. I'm gonna be more on top of it now, though. Uh, this stream... Stream? I'm so used to streaming. This video, rather. Brought to you by Monster Energy. Oh! Look at that. Oh, yeah. Smoke. Does he know? Does he not know? Let's see. <clears throat> Flashbang. Throwing flashbang. This guy's really not playing that well. How's he doing on the team? Deploying flashbang. Thirteen, two, and fourteen. He's doing all right. That seemed a little preemptive. However, hmm, hmm, it's really odd. It does seem like he's checking pit and whatnot, but he's not putting his crosshairs where he should to be checking in. But he is being careful about checking it. I don't know if he's doing this just to bite himself some time to make it seem like he doesn't know where the guy is, but we'll see. Terrorists win. Huh. I wonder if he has aim hacks. I guess we'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Let's see where everybody's going. Bomb's working its way up banana. Two on B. Three over here at A. Nobody actually watching mid. Playing a risky game there. Looked like he watched them through the wall there. Could have just been chance. Mm, that's not a place where you aim. Freaking nose! Hmm. Throw in a oh. Well, Flamingo got that donkey. Alright, last two are over at B site. Took them a while to rotate over. Looks like they'll be pushing up through Banana. All the way through mid. Looks like our suspect's gonna pick them up right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that, that's aim hex. Definitely le aim hex. Not only was he preemptively firing through that corner, but they were both headshots. Now, one could argue, well, hang on, Jan, because his crosshairs were at headshot level the whole time. And yes, that is true, but remember, there is recoil. Now, watch this. This is probably going to be a headshot as well. He's shooting at him without even actually seeing him. Face. All right, now he's got an AK-47. This is going to be a lot more deadly for the other team, um, because he's going to be able to one-tap him now. now. He's not going to be one-tapping, but he's going to be one to kill. <clears throat> Come on, buddy, you got to crouch. There you go. You got it. You can do it. Wow. Scrub-a-dub-dub. Nobody in apartments. Looks like they're stacking A site. Four people, one person over at B. B smoked out. Bounce working his way up there. He's the only one working apartments along with his bud here. Let's see how he does. Three people watching apartments. I am throwing smoke. 
it's not a very common spot for people to hide where he Over. is, so... This crosshair isn't a headshot. Take another watch for me to figure that out. Um, I'm gonna have to go into detail with this one if it doesn't become obvious. I thought it was obvious, but that round right there made me argue otherwise. He could have toggled off, but we'll see. Underscore show deploying flashback impacts one. Why haven't I been doing this? Now I can actually see how his recoil is. Dang, I should have done that a long time ago. I might actually have to re watch this video with that on. <clears throat> All right, throwing fire just those three ones lingering over at B site to hold them down. Got a pick. Only one person watching A, and he's, oh, nope, he's going to be staying there. Smart. Wow. Puffin holding B site. He's going to get all the way to the B before he realizes that the bomb was actually at A. This guy Throwing a is a dunce. Adds a tongue. <laughs> Terrorists win. Puppets win for game mode. What's up? Okay, so that was a good preview of the recoil. Now, there's different kinds of, aim, of aim hacks, rather. There's one that has no recoil at all, so it's just always in a straight line. There's other ones that reduce the recoil and focus around the head, so it's not going to be a laser, but it is going to be greatly reduced and focused around the head. Smoke. Yes. You can see that those were focused around the head and uh, didn't really spread as much as a regular AK-47 usually does. The way it goes is it goes... Uh, well, I'll, I'll draw it out after. Generally, the recoil goes shot, 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 and then the third one's like way over here. Instead, his were all localized around the head. Now, you could argue that he did pull down on the crosshair to reduce the recoil, but it's not going to look just like that. Saving. I see them. Oh. He doesn't make it. Okay. You can tell he wasn't even able to hit the chicken. I don't think any of his kills has not been headshots, by the way. Preemptive firing. Oh well, wasn't a headshot. Grenade. 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 Grenade.
not head level. Smoke. Aim a little bit higher. I remember watching this one match before I had Overwatch. Um, a friend of ours messaged us saying that a buddy that he was playing with had aim hacks and wall hacks. So we watched, we spectated the game, and we saw it was so blatant. And the way his aim hacks worked, it, w it worked upon firing in the direction of an enemy. So if you were facing an enemy and they were anywhere within the vicinity of your view, whether it be with X ray vision or not, and you held down the trigger, it would snap to them. Now that's not what this guy has, but it's just another example of how many different types of aim hacks there are. Yes. That's a pretty generic pre-fire, but he's not actually firing where you normally would. Looks like his mouth got stuck in the strafing mode. Decoy. Now, I'm not gonna... Oh, look, it's done. I'm not gonna say that he wasn't a skilled player, because he was a skilled player. He did use the right tactics, new flash spots, new smoke spots, and worked really well with his team. However, I believe he had aim assistance. Um, I've played in games where people aren't hacking, they're just a really high rank and a low elo, and they were getting headshots all the time. However, this guy, there's just too many, too many situations in where, where it, I don't know, it just rubbed me the wrong way. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. To me, I don't have a doubt that he was aim hacking. To you guys, maybe maybe you do have doubts. Pop them in the comments, I really appreciate it. Um, somebody on my episode six, I believe, actually argued that there were certain things that could have been done to judge it differently. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put a shout out to you. I'll pop the comment right here in the bottom of the screen. So thank you for leaving a comment like that. I'm gonna go back and review that and I will reply to you when I've actually got my verdict on that. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I salute you.